I've always heard how beautiful Alteron's supposed to be. Figures I'm gonna see it in the middle of a war. At least he'll still be pretty in the holos. You can sightsee after we win the Great Hunt. That's assuming there'll be anything left to see. Just forget it, you wouldn't understand. Welcome to Alderaan, Hunter. Former tourist capital of the Core Worlds. Your target here is a nobleman nicknamed the Durasteel Duke on account of his knack for staying alive. Over a thousand assassins have come and gone trying to put the Duke to bed, but he ain't met you yet, right? He was last seen with House Gerard. They're guests of House Thule, so that's a good place to start looking. Good luck. Figures should gloss over the details. Lucky for you, I'm on the job. Fill me in. I hate surprises. In a nutshell, when the Queen of Alderaan died a few years ago, the head of the military declared himself king. That didn't go over so well. Now the three largest houses are fighting over the crown. Who would have seen that coming? A lot of people didn't. Boris Olgo was a Republic war hero. House Argana and House Thule are Olgo's only real opposition, but they're at each other's throats too. Basically, Argana wants Alderaan back in the Republic, and Thule came back from exile with the help of the Empire. Hey, are you getting all this? Our mark is with Gerard at House Thule, and the rest are target practice. Anything else? Well, that pretty much sums it up. Come on. We better go pay a visit to House Gerard. Oh, and one last thing. The nobles of Alderaan are different. They think they're untouchable, and they won't be impressed. No matter how big a gun you wave around. I just cuffed the whelp for scuffing my boot with the stirrup when... Oh! Abominable. Just ignore it. Maybe it'll wander away. What's a beautiful young thing like you doing hanging on the arm of this old prune? I was so overwhelmed by your charm and good looks that I thought I might faint. He can have that effect on people, my lady. Wouldn't be the first time I caught a swooning maiden. You're in good hands. Am I now? Get away, you filthy creature. You must leave. Now. And use the servant's exit. People would talk if they saw someone of your ilk here. Guess I should have worn my other blaster. You know, Ada, he's quite the wag. I think we should keep him around. Do shut up, Rafid, or I'll be speaking to your father. Must you two squabble in front of our guests? You're causing more of a stir than our visitor here. Ladies and gentlemen, please, return to the festivities. I will have a few words with our esteemed guest here. You the boss around here? You could put it that way, yes. You aren't seriously considering dealing with this thug? Uncle, please. I have the situation well in hand. Return to the festivities. This is not a request. I believe I know why you're here. But this is a discussion best held in private. Please wait in my office. I'll be right with you. What? I'm after the Durasteel Duke. Can you help me or not? Right to the point, yes? I'm afraid the Duke and his sister left House Gerard some time ago under unpleasant circumstances. House Gerard now has a vested interest in finding the Duke and having him meet an unpleasant end. A minor noble claims to have a lead on the Duke. However, he insists on meeting in person, which I'm not willing to do. Instead, I will employ you. You're expecting a double cross. It's possible. Either way, I'm certainly not going out into that war zone, and none of my relatives can be trusted. I can't expect you to navigate the intricacies of our society, but I can give you the authority to negotiate on my behalf. From this point on, you will act as House Gerard's advocate, a role of honor. Come, I will walk you through the appointment ceremony. Let's make this happen. Please kneel. I, Baron Zakar Gerard, do hereby bequeath my voice and my seal to this proxy. Now repeat after me. I humbly accept this honor and swear to carry my authority in a manner befitting the Lord I serve. 
I humbly accept this honor and swear to carry my authority in a manner befitting the Lord I serve. You may rise. Well done. There may be hope for you yet. It is customary for information to be double encrypted in these transactions, so Lord Malthus must enter his half of the key before you take the data. I'll let Malthus know you'll arrive at his encampment soon. Be on your best behavior. Stop right where you are. You have no rank here. Etiquette dictates that no one below my rank is permitted within ten paces of my person without my express consent. It used to be five paces. I suppose the war is making people jumpy. Wait, you? You are the advocate of House Gerard? Outrageous! I would not trust the likes of you to scrub my sewage, let alone deliver vital correspondence. That's quite a mouth you've got there. Mom was a nerf herder, huh? I will not trade barbs with a base-born wretch. Honor dictates this message must stay in my care until I give it to someone of rank, not a trained thranta. Look, I have here tokens of respect for my peers, a mission for a page. Deliver them and earn a ten-year-old's honor. Then I can speak to you. You expect me to run this junk all over Alderaan? Too much to ask. This is why we don't trust the ill-bred with even tasks of menial honor. If you have no honor and will not prove yourself, I have no reason to further tolerate your presence. I got a reason right here. Your artful diplomacy is a wonder to behold. Oh! You struck me! How dare you! You knuckle-dragging ape! I'll see your head on a pike! What are you oaths waiting for? Pound this cur to the ground! Baron Zaka will hear of this offense. Enjoy explaining why my information will now go to someone else. I demand that you prostrate yourself and beg for mercy. Or so help me, I'll have you brought before a tribunal for these grievous affronts. You're a slow learner. Ow! Stop that! You'll regret- All right, all right, all right, quarter, quarter, I relent. I shall enter my half of the security key. You take this message to Baron Zakar with my fond regards. I don't know what bruised more easily, his ego or his face. May we never meet again. It is clear that you have plans in motion, nephew. Ah, your newest lackey. Tell me, did my nephew mention that he already hired a bounty hunter and got him promptly killed? Past business dealings aren't my interest. Getting paid for this one is. I recall Vibu saying something similar before you killed him. It's never a bad idea to show interest in your competition. If you would please excuse yourself, Uncle. I have business with my advocate. I see how your brat Rafid learned to disgrace us. Advocate. Ah. I just got a very impolite communication from Lord Malthus saying that you assaulted him. Is that true? I may have negotiated with his face a little. <laughs> I've always thought that pompous nitwit could use a good straightening out. According to Malthus's information, Duke Corwin is in negotiations with our enemy, House Organa. They're placing messages in phony relics at House Alder's Royal Museum for later retrieval. Duke Corwin's placed an imposter relic in the museum recently. You'll have to forcibly enter House Alder and find it. Can I just buy a ticket and take the tour? House Alder is a vassal house of Organa. They are at war with us as much as anyone else. And use extreme caution. The museum holds priceless cultural treasures. Nobody wants to be responsible for destroying that heritage. Priceless is something Alderanians only use to describe things they still own. Catch my drift. What is all that noise? Jackpot. How good are you at shooting with your hands full? Oh. Oh, no. Out, please. Take your battles elsewhere. This museum has no strategic value. You're gonna keel over if you keep that up. Just point out the fake, and I'm gone. You must be mistaken. Each piece here is an irreplaceable artifact from Alderaan's long and distinguished heritage. Some are thousands of years old. You must go before anything is damaged. 
I won't lay a finger on a thing if you help me find what I'm looking for. I have cared for these antiquities for 57 years. Every item here is the genuine article. I can prove it to you. I have an integrity scanner we use for restoration work. It will only take a few minutes to scan for a no- Oh no! The security cameras, they've spotted you. You can't fight in here. Don't worry, they're not even gonna make it to the door. I can't believe this is happening. I... I've... I've found something. But that's impossible. If this is a fake, where is the real first founding memorial vase? You work well under fire. Ever thought about bounty hunting? Don't be preposterous. I did nothing more than my duty to protect these cherished treasures. You have what you want. Now, please, leave. Please. Accept your hand? <laughs> I'd sooner thrust my fist into a thresher. I, I don't understand. I, I thought this had already been arranged. Approved. Advocate, be so kind as to remove this thing from my presence. Anything for a lady. D this must be some kind of mistake. Ugh. Herb of Zakar and my father, treating me like some insipid, simpering... Ugh. How many more of these absurd marriage proposals must I endure? If you made yourself undesirable, they'd go away. You make a good point, Advocate. What did you have in mind? I had a fling with a notorious bounty hunter to send them all running. How convenient that I happen to have one at hand. All that's missing is a suitable arena for attracting gossip. Be so kind as to escort me through the gardens, Advocate. I'll just loiter around here, maybe look for souvenirs. After that performance, I expect House Thule to be alive with rumor for some time. Trust me, I don't think it was my performance anybody noticed. It certainly was an invigorating stroll, wasn't it? Here's a little something for your... counsel. Pegged you for a smooth talker, but I gotta say, that was slick. Alda certainly didn't go unnoticed, but you managed not to cause any unnecessary destruction. That merits a bonus, I think. Appreciate it, Baron. You'll be certain to see more if you continue to perform with distinction. Let's see what you've discovered. Hmm, this is an Organa's house tongue. Give me a moment to pass the details. These houses... Thul vassals... Ulgo vassals... House Organa. Duke Corwin isn't just allying with the Organas. He's organizing an entire coalition against the House Thul. Sounds like he's prepping you guys for a good beatdown. Indelicate, but accurate. And there is nothing we can do about it. My cousin is safe within the sanctuary of House Wrist. If he's under their protection, it's little wonder why the Juristeel Duke always survives. The Rists are a family of assassins who ascended into nobility through centuries of murder and sabotage. Duke Corwin is beyond our reach. Does it look like I'm getting cold feet to you? It's your life, Hunter. I've apprised you of the risk. You'll need to find Duke Corwin's haven inside House Wrist and stop whatever negotiations my cousin has underway permanently. I'm likely sending you to your death, but if you can manage to succeed, I will have a suitable payment waiting. Huh? Your blaster handy. I smell a trap. I'm afraid you're too late. Duke Corwin took his leave of House Wrist on a shuttle just moments ago. Rather hastily, I might add. So hastily he neglected to pay me. A rather gauche breach of etiquette. And unwise. Tell me where the Duke's headed and I'll disappear. Had I spoken with him, rest assured, I would not be complaining of unpaid dues. Still, it's odd to see Duke Corwin panic. Regardless, congratulations are in order for surviving this long. 
It's more than can be said for the last bounty hunter to stalk our dear Duke. You want something? Or did you just show up to chat? I'm going to make you an offer. And I'm only going to make it once. House Wrist has been contracted to eliminate Baron Zakhar Gerard and all of House Gerard's leadership. We'd like to commission you to carry out these assassinations on our behalf. Why don't you handle this? You already have the Baron's confidence. You could easily get close enough to eliminate everyone at once. You're the obvious choice for the job. Sharp one, this guy. I say we do him the favor. It's a simple decision, really. Death or profit. Your credits are no good. I'm pretty sure they don't expire. Look, he didn't mean that. His helmet's just on too tight. Give me a minute to talk it over with him. I said I was only going to offer once. Goodbye. Lucas, are you there? Oh, damn this blasted thing. Can you hear me? I have news. I don't dare discuss the details on an insecure channel. Please return to House Gerard as soon as possible. I apologize for recalling you here, but I couldn't risk my cousin catching wind of this discussion. If his retreat from House Wrist is any indication, the Jurasteel Duke is already running scared, and I'd like him to stay right where he is. It may not be our goal, but crippling House Wrist is worth noting. Consider this payment for supporting the Thule War effort. Your whole family is on the Wrist's hit list. Hmm. Thank you for the warning, but I don't think Wrist is in any position to strike after your actions. Oh. <sighs> What is the meaning of this? I just caught this little rake of yours in a dalliance with my wife. More like you caught your wife in a dalliance with me, cuckold. Unless you want half of House Thule questioning why we continue to keep you riffraff here, you'll grant me that winter haven of yours. My grandfather's estate? Are you mad? That's half my family's lands. Advocate, kill this petty extortionist and I'll double what I just gave you. They're your credits. Worth every last credit. Thank you, Advocate. Raffid, you're confined to your chambers indefinitely. Hope I do not keep you there for the rest of your natural life. Now get out! My life or yours, Father? As I was saying, with House Wrist unable to protect him, I have no doubt that Duke Corwin is seeking asylum with the Organas. Makes sense, considering how buddy-buddy they've been. The facts support that assumption as well. Thule scouts reported spotting a civilian shuttle headed into Organa territory shortly after you breached House Wrist's compound. There's nowhere left for my cousin to run. Go kick down House Organa's doors and give them hell. Expect a bonus for any additional Organa casualties. Uh, help! Someone is trying to kill me! Valor! Wait! Don't shoot! I'm not who you think I am. Look! See? The Dukes. A Duchess. Hmm? Not exactly. Uh, it looks like the cavalry finally arrived. Don't be alarmed. This is a misunderstanding. I am sure we can reach an agreement without further bloodshed. You've got my attention. The impersonator you've been chasing is Lady Muriel Corwin, the Duke's sister. If you want to see the Duke, you need only look there. The real Duke Corwin died almost a month ago while visiting to negotiate a treaty. Even using Colto suspension, our attempts to revive him have ultimately failed. All we've managed to do is delay his bodily death. Doesn't explain why you got his sister running around as a decoy. Duke Corwin promised he'd rally nobles loyal to him to Organa's side. But his death dashed any hopes of those alliances. Lady Corwin agreed to help us and her. Strong family resemblance allowed her to make a convincing double for her brother. Ah, if I'd known it was that easy, my double cost me a hut's fortune. We sent her to House Wrist to maintain the illusion that the Durasteel Duke was alive and well until she finished negotiating those alliances. You may as well have put a blaster to her head yourself. We never imagined someone could harm her while under the protection of House Wrist. Since you're more than capable of taking Duke Corwin from us, we won't resist under two conditions. 
Leave peacefully and speak nothing of this deception to anyone. Hmm, free money or blood money? Life's always full of tough decisions. Will you agree to those terms? The Duke's the only reason I'm here. Keep your word, and I walk out nicely. He's yours, Bounty Hunter. Just go in peace. Goodbye, brother. You... you make sure he gets a proper burial. This is a new low, Rafid. You're accusing me! If anyone is... Gentlemen, compose yourselves. Our esteemed guest has returned. We are busy, Bounty Hunter, and as you can see, Baron Zakar is otherwise indisposed. My nephew's last act was preparing a sum of credits. I can only assume they're yours. How'd the Baron bite it? My nephew was done in by a poisoned glass of wine. Obviously, his overambitious progeny is doing. I'm ambitious now? Why, Uncle? Stooping to compliments to slander me. The Baron has no further need of your services. I have to assume the burden of managing my nephew's estate. As the Baron's only son, I have first claim to succession, Hader. Your claim was forfeit the moment you killed your father. As regent, the title passes to me. Actually, father, the Baron passed his authority to our advocate. Legally, the bounty hunter could name the new head of House Gerard. Why do either of you deserve to be Baron? Being my nephew's faithful right hand for years obviously makes me the most suited to this task. Besides, I've accumulated a tidy sum over the years. Appoint me Baron and I'll see you well rewarded. Ha! Hader keeps his purse strings so tight he could garret you with it. Grant me my inheritance and I'll grant you a title. That's fair, right? You can make yourself at home whenever you like. Should either one of them take over, we'll all end up hoppers or lapdogs to the Thules. Advocate, I would show extreme gratitude to the man who named me successor. Enough pandering. What's your decision, Advocate? I'm going with Itala. Father, I shan't have need of your counsel as Vice Baron. You may consider yourself a lord in waiting. This is your gratitude for rearing you to adulthood? Think of it as a reward for all the years you devoted to raising me as a commodity. As for you, Raphid, you are hereby banished from House Gerard. What? You can't! Where will I go? When have you ever had trouble finding a bed? I'm sure you'll be fine. Now, my champion, I'd like to reward you for the great service you've done for me today. Shall we retire? Now you'll get to see what bounty hunters are all about. Really now? I was under the impression that you were paid for different services entirely. Hmm. You've served admirably. Now, be a darling and show yourself out. You've got my number. Be seeing you. Those are wrist colors. Ugh, I told you to take the deal. You looking for trouble? No need to be alarmed. I'm only here to deliver a message. It is unfortunate that our individual arrangements had us at odds earlier, but that's simply the nature of our business. My master wishes to ensure that there's no ill will left between us. Steer clear of me, and you won't have any problems. That is acceptable. House Rest will no longer interfere with your affairs. The news Taro Blood will not take graciously, I'm sure. He fronted a considerable sum to ensure his rivals were dealt with. I imagine he'll threaten some reprisal, but I think we both know what Taro Blood's word is worth. Steel Duke. Confirmed. <laughs> Guess he wasn't blaster-proof after all. You're clear to move on. Any word on our rival? It's been confirmed that Irido's son was disqualified in his sleep weeks ago. Guess he got sloppy. Welcome to the final round, Hunter. 
Contact your handler when you're ready to proceed. Good hunting. Can't wait to see what's next. I know. I can't tell if I'm excited or terrified.